all right what is going on welcome back to part three of nebraska now this game's turning out to be pretty pretty good uh, i mean not a lot of uh jump scares except for the walkie talkie but the uh atmosphere is great it's not you know it, it don't make you feel too dreadful but you know it's uh it's walking a fine line between like straight mystery and horror and i really like it i'm really liking it so far um you know a few little quirks here and there but so far seven out of ten we'll see how it ends and uh, see how the rest of it plays out without further ado let's waste no more time let's hop right into part three now this is obvious a uh, uh, ready to go to war, is the word. Um, e card. Oh, that sounds like breath. No bueno. Wow. I do like I can like get on top of almost everything. Blackboard, uh, what's well, not blackboard, it's a whiteboard. Blackboard showing how the bacteria from the phase one experience goes into limbs, I presume. Okay. Oh, yes, I need those. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I make those. Forgot, forgot about that. Is this a. Okay, uh, straight into some reading, Dr. An Anastas Petrov. Uh, February 11th of 2014, phase one through three experiments. Phase three is a success. The laboratory team at lab B7 has successfully brainwashed mutant test subject into completing advanced commands via neurochip. Uh, after numerous failures during phase two, we've done it. It is finally concluded that the brainwashing, that brainwashing a patient through the use of lysergic acid, uh, Dithalamide and messages broadcasted in their sleep through a headset was not capable of mind control. Patients would often act out of these commands in hopes of being released rather than authentically being coerced. Phase 3 subjects are connected to the master computer and broadcasting commands through a neurochip. The neurotransmitters in the brain are then st stimulated by these frequencies, causing the subject to act in whichever manner we choose. When we place when we placed a pig into Subject 457's room, he showed an extreme amount of love and compassion toward, to the animal. And this is going to take a turn. When his serotonin and dopamine remained stimulated, however, when the amygdala and the hypothalamus transmitters were stimulated, Subject 457 violently dismembered the pig and proceeded to write one of the staff members' names on the wall in the pig's blood and his own feces. Okay, cool. Yeah, I took it a little... Turned it up to 11. I like it. Uh, his room was... His room was thus sprayed with nitrous oxide to put uh, 457 to sleep. Although many successes, there are still many cons with Operation Phase 1 experience. experiments were first created in February of 2009. Were designed to test the enforced capability of mut mutation. Phase 1 experiments are created from bacteria and animalia that grow their own flesh, blood, and limbs that produce heat in order to survive, similar to how fish that live far beneath the ocean persist by living around underwater volcanoes that produce heat. Phase 1 experiments have proven extremely difficult to keep in captivity because of a wide range of limb growth. Subject 36 was able to grow limbs small enough to fit through the cracks between this between the screw and captivity capsule and start growing through the drywall and expand bigger than any other subject ever made in N4. Wow. Although phase one experiments are harmless you sure about that? It don't sound, you know, it, don't, it sounds pretty uh, devious. Uh, it's trying to escape. Uh, they still possess a huge security threat in the near future. If one of these subjects grows past the grows past the base, or is leaking the uh, existence of the facility to the public, or growing on top, growing on top of a staff member during sleep, causing suffocation. Um, you know, 
breaking an NDA is uh, probably the least of your concern at this point. Let me just put that out there. Probably the least of your concern. Okay, what's going on here? Our, our breath. I'm assuming those are fuses. That's what it looks like. And what hor horror game don't have fuses? The power bill's gonna be outrageous. Oh my goodness, that is dark. H. What is that? I did, yeah, that's what I thought. H. Is that noise? Okay. H. Is there a light in here at all? Yes. E. Oh, H-E double, H-E double hockey sticks, maybe. Double a hog six, maybe, yeah, bro. Maybe. Hey, what is wrong? Okay. Eat, maybe, maybe. I don't know. P. P. All right, you got it right. Stealthy. What do I have to be stealthy for? Don't tell me uh, something's gonna be chasing us. What is that? Okay, it's hot. Stealthy. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, adhere to it. Man, look at all this hamburger meat, man. It's like, that's a lot of money. Nah.
So I mean, I guess I probably you know jump scare me. Okay. Well, I know what I need to do now. Uh, I may got me a little bit, but it wasn't crazy because I mean I was kind of expecting it. Is that it right there? Something here. Just in case it's outside, you know? I mean, it was just right here. I'm busting them doors now, I guess. Or sound like some wood. I think it was fast, too. I don't know if I can, like, actually can't be detected or. Just run, I thought it's what it does. <laughs> oh man, get unhot, man. Get some uh, pinkies. Well, I'll probably just run around, honestly. This one is, I mean, I was crouching, I don't know what else there is to do. I mean, if, if I'm getting detected while I'm, if I'm getting detected while, is that a fuse right there? Just like my okay, I think it's just mine. Uh, like, uh, fuse, Good fuse. Thank you. I'm gonna freaking die in here. So 
So I found one in here. Or no, I found I found one in here. I don't know, like um, if or when they are coming. I haven't got any sort of cue yet. Not even like a, a loud, typical horror game noise. And something absurdly loud, which I kind of appreciate, but at the same time, I don't know. Sort of knowing. Okay, this is all the same room. Had a bit of fail. So. Freaking shit. 
niceness through here. Episode. I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't know there were test subjects still in the labs. I understand why you're scared. But I'm in a cell, and I haven't seen what the rest of the facility looks like since the start of the outbreak. I only know about the exit through the sewer pipes because I saw one of the doctors escaping through there during the outbreak before moving me into a different cell. We're almost together. My cell is in the underground tunnels. You're only one door away. Find a way to switch back on the power, because without it, you're going to be stuck in that room just like I am I in this am room. room. Did I just get molly whopped? Whopper! Get pitted, so pitted. You wash up on the trailer like, Whopper! I guess I will uh, end the video after. After I go through the, uh, I guess it was uh, shrunken down and now I'm inside of uh, a package of hamburger meat. Some ground chuck. Uh, let's see, uh, is it that, that? I can't really tell, man. It looks, uh, uh, it looks pretty fatty. It's probably like that 80 20 or something. <laughs> Kind of just sounds like water out of like um for this follow y'all uh, probably like I'm still a damn you. Oh, like 
a big long sausage. It's not like. <laughs> I think that looks nasty, don't oh, I? Had God. a wife, kids before this. What's that? What's that moving up there? That's a body right there. A little outline right there. Okay, no. Where is it? No, 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 I don't know what it is. Apologize for the cussing as well. I'm trying to keep it. Uh, attention that jump scare or anything <laughs> that's creepy nasty <sighs> must have passed out from the shock passed out man it's not like he was clubbed I'm trying to tell me something probably he probably oh we are in the same spot and there goes that little slither and turd again anyway Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I believe this is part three. I've done lost count, but uh, I do appreciate you. Thank you very much for watching. Part four will be up really soon. Like I said, I'm just breaking this up into, you know, 30-ish uh, minutes sections uh, instead of just leaving all one big long thing. For one, it's easier to upload. It takes a little bit more time to edit, but... Um, you know, you got to render each part and all that stuff. I mean, it might actually be about the same because I'd, I'd have to sit and go through a whole probably uh, like an hour and a half video as of right now. And I ain't even done with the game. Probably like an hour and a half, hour and 20 minute video. So anyway, part four will be up uh, very soon. And I don't know how much longer I've got. Um, I've recorded three 30 minute part so it's been about an hour and a half I'm gonna say when it's all chopped down it's been about an hour and a half so I do greatly appreciate you thank you and you all take it easy all right